Hi everybody, it's Laquita and I'm back with just a quick project share. I made a cover for a Bible and this is for my cousin Deb. Hi Deb! And Deb saw my video for the challenge giveaway that I did. It's a, It's been a while, it's a few videos back and I will leave a link for it if anybody's interested in going back and seeing that one. But uh, she saw that Bible cover and or book cover and decided that she would like to have one and asked me if I would make her one. And she had um, particular colors in mind. She wanted pink and lavender. And she also had particular pictures that she wanted to use. So um, this is one of the pictures that she sent me. And it's a picture of a beautiful variegated pink and white rose. And so that's why I went with the pink and white colors, of course, on the front. And so um, what I did is I just went around the picture with um, snippets and pieces of bridal appliques. And then I have a couple of pink and white doilies here at the bottom. And one has a ribbon rose and the other one has an acrylic or resin rose in the center there. And then across the top, I had this uh, beautiful yoke in this kind of um, strawberry pink color. And it had, uh, when I bought it, it had all of these sequins and, and beads all along the edge. So I thought it was a perfect piece to put on this book. And because it's a yoke piece, it's shaped, you know, it goes across the top and then it comes down to a point here and then across the back, it goes across the top again. And so um, I've also added on the back this pretty little doily and I did some embroidering with um, the leaves and the uh, stem. And then I added the pretty little applique flower in, in the center there. And then I've added a few little more applique pieces across the top. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the only other thing I didn't point out was I added a little bit of beading across the bottom and this beautiful lace here across the bottom that has um, the roses in the center. And then I have a little bit of a fan uh, lace across the edge there. So, um, and I guess I didn't mention it has, I started with a pink fabric and then I laid on top of that this pretty um, white lace that you see uh, right around in here. So that is the cover. And then when you open it, you'll have another set of pages. And so this is where I did the lavender. And so this is the other image that she sent, the image of the uh, yellow roses. And I'll just take that little booklet out right now so I can show you the rest of the book. So I started with a lavender fabric and then I put this cream colored lace on top of that. And then I happen to have this really pretty um, lavender applique piece. It's beaded and has sequins and dangles. And I just cut it in half. And so I've used part of it here and then part of it down here. And then I, I've created two pockets. There's one here and there's one on this side. This one I lined with the lavender fabric and this one is with the cream fabric. Then I gathered a little bit of lace across this pocket so it would just have a little bit of a full look. And then on this pocket, I just did a little bit of uh, beading on, on top of the lace and then a little bit more beading in the center of the lace pieces down here. And then I've got some dangling laces across the bottom. And then for the little booklet, um, I just made it out of fabric and lace and I've just trimmed it out with a little bit of gimp trim all the way around and a little bit of um, a crocheted um, lace around the edge. Isn't that a pretty image of those yellow roses? And then on the inside, I've just um, finished it off with just lace inside. And then I've made two little pockets here out of the same lace that I've used here. And so she can use this to put uh, notes and, and things like that in there. And so, um, Deb, the reason I put the picture on this little book was because if I would have put, put it here on the um, book page, then every time you put things in the pocket, you would cover it up. So um, 
I just decided to go with the booklet and that way you can always add things behind it and you'll always be able to see your your beautiful yellow roses there so that is the inside then the next page is where you would actually keep your Bible and I just put this note um, book in here this little journal book just so that you could see that this is where you would put it of course and so your front flap of your Bible would go in that sleeve and then your back one would go into this sleeve right here. And then I also made a uh, bookmark out of a beautiful pink satin ribbon. And then I've added this glass bauble on the bottom. And um, it's very heavy. As I mentioned, it is glass. And so uh, you can see it's a really light pink color. And so that's your bookmark. And I've just added a little bit of... Um, flat back beaded trim there on that side and also on the edge over here. And so that is it. That is the book. And so Deb, I sure hope you like it. Um, it I know it's been a little while. I've been working on this for, for a little bit and it's been a project that's kind of been going on off and on for a little while. And, you know, I was in the middle of moving and so was my cousin Deb. She was in the middle of moving too. So we are both settled now and so I'm ready to put this in the mail to you and it's almost Thanksgiving Deb I'm so sorry I wished I could be there with you all I'm gonna miss you for Thanksgiving tell everybody hello and I love you guys and everyone else please have a safe and happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving and uh, hopefully I'll be back not too long after Thanksgiving with another little project. I started on one, so hopefully it won't take me too long to get it finished. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. And um, Deb, like I said, I hope you like it. So take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.